Some of you guys may have heard of the small YouTuber Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast only has like 138 subscribers. There's like a little M beside that 138, but I'm pretty sure that's just like a glitch. All jokes aside though, Mr. Beast actually has his very own chocolate bar brand called Feastables, and I actually bought some. There's Mr. Beast chocolate bars in this box, and I have a pretty good idea about what I want to make with these chocolate bars. I will be turning one of the chocolate bars into a Mr. Beast fingerboard, because that is basically all the channel is at this point. So let's see what we can do. Got the goods. Dude, there is actually quite a bit of chocolate in here. This is kind of my plan. I want to take one of the chocolate bars and take a strip off of it that I can put onto a fingerboard. I think taking a strip off right here is going to be perfect. Some of the bars have a different colored Mr. Beast logo on it, but I think I'm going to use one of the classic ones. Mr. Beast sent me a broken chocolate bar. It only feels right to do a taste test. Let's see if Feastables are actually any good. Crunch test. Pretty good. Every time I chew, I like hear that like money ching sound effect. All right, this is actually not too bad. This is actually pretty good. Prime doesn't taste anything like this. To be fair though, this is a drink and that's chocolate, so that could be why. Time to make a fingerboard. I have this unfinished blank board and this will be pretty good. Now finally sanded. Now we can take the board, we can take the wrapper, and we can just put them together. Simple. We got the wrapper, we got the fingerboard. So now we're basically just gonna put the board on like that and we will be done. I did say basically, so we are not doing that yet. You see that little lightning bolt? I want to paint that onto the top fly and then we can cut out the grip tape around it and I think that'll look pretty good. Pretty happy with how this looks. Now it is finally time to put the wrapper on. much dry so we can take off the edges now.
Dude, this actually looks sick. Now that the wrapper is on the board, we need to drill some new holes. Now time to put the grip on. Look at how sick this board looks. Pop test. Kickflip test. If I don't land the first kickflip, this board is awful. First try. That means this board is pretty good. I'm not joking when I say this, but this board actually feels like better than any other fingerboard I've made. It's all in the graphic. I'm also going to be sending this exact fingerboard to Mr. Beast himself. Mr. Beast did a post over on Instagram telling everybody to send him a bunch of fan mail that he's going to put on a wall. So I will be sending him this exact fingerboard and he'll open it up on a live stream. I put the shark wheels on the fingerboard because it kind of looks like these waves on the chocolate bar. So hyped with how this looks. We did it. Mr. Beast fingerboard. Make sure you don't miss the live stream where Mr. Beast will actually be unboxing this board. Drop a like on this video for a free cookie.